Chrome is the most widely used browser today, and it is accessible on a variety of systems. Many people appreciate it because of its quickness and simplistic look, although this is a very robust and reliable browser. There are times when specific difficulties may arise, which we will solve today. In this video, we'll look at the unsuccessful network error when downloading using Google Chrome. One of the primary reasons of this issue is antivirus software that continuously scans the website certificate. This slows down the download speed, resulting in this issue. These are the general steps for different antivirus installed in your device. Just choose to which tool you have installed. First, open the antivirus user interface by double-clicking on its icon in the system tray. The HTTPS scanning setting is located in different spots for different antivirus tools. certain cases. The problem is caused by Chrome being unable to access the downloads folder. To see if this is the source of the problem, consider changing the default downloads folder location. On the Google Chrome browser, click on the three horizontal dots at the top right part which says customize and control Google Chrome when you hover above it. Click on the settings option near the bottom of the drop down menu. Scroll down to the bottom of this page and click the advanced button. Scroll down until you see the download section. Click the change button under the location option and choose a different folder for Chrome downloads. Confirm the changes. Restart your browser. possible that the issue is caused by outdated network drivers on your PC. Check to see if an update is available and then download it. Type device manager into the search field next to the start menu button to open the device manager utility. Expand the network adapters section to display all network adapters that the PC has running at the moment. Right click on the network adapter you want to uninstall and select uninstall device. This will remove it from the list and uninstall the device. Click OK when prompted to uninstall the driver completely. Restart the computer. Once the restart is done, it will automatically download the missing driver and install it. Make sure that you are connected to the internet. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it if you can leave a like, subscribe to our channel, or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making sure that Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.